Hi, welcome to the kitchen. I'm Jennifer from the Somerset County Family Community Health Science Department, and I'm here today to talk all about pomegranates. This wonderful fruit is in season, and we're gonna talk about the nutrition that you get from a pomegranate and how you can easily open it up to get these delicious pomegranate seeds. They're called arils. So pomegranates actually come from the Latin word needed seeded apple. And they're very, it's a very old fruit. It's a very unique fruit in the fact that we don't eat the skin. We don't eat the flesh. We only eat the seeds. And how do we get the seeds out of the pomegranate? Well, what we're gonna do, I, I have a bowl here filled with water. This really is the easiest way to extract the seeds because they are a bright ruby red color. And if the juice splatters, uh, the juice can stain. So it's great to keep it contained here. And the seeds are dense, so they're gonna fall to the bottom of the bowl and the light flesh will come to the top and we can skim them right off. So I'm going to just cut the crown off. Oh, and you can see all those juicy seeds. And what we're gonna do is just make a few vertical slits down the sides of the pomegranate. See the juice not flying already. <laughs> I'm glad I'm wearing my apron. Okay, just a few vertical slits, which we're going to easily open up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just put the pomegranate in the water and you're going to pop open the slit. See, it just easily pops off and you can just see, let's look at the juice coming out. You can see all those beautiful arrows. And what you're going to do is just pop the seeds off and put them into the water. And when you have the, this, flat, this pulp, it's very light, so it is gonna float to the top. If you see big pieces, you can obviously take them out but just use your fingers and just manipulate around the seeds and they will come off right in the water. Now the seeds are just, I think the most fun part to eat of a pomegranate. My daughter, which you've seen in many of my videos, she loves to eat pomegranates. And so this time of the year, I will buy them. They will store well. If they're unopened, store them in your refrigerator you wanna keep them in a, in a dark place, in a cool place in your refrigerator, they will last up to two months unopened. But if you do open and take the seeds out, keep them in an airtight container in your refrigerator and they will last a few days. You can leave them in your refrigerator up to a week, but I guarantee they won't even last more than a few days because we just eat them and pop them into our mouth. Uh, we also, with the holidays coming up, it just makes a great accent or garnish on all kinds of salads, whether it's a lettuce-based salad, whether it's a fruit salad that you're making, even a grain dish, something like a quinoa or a farro or a rice pilaf. You can top some pomegranate seeds and make that dish brighten right up. So there's so many ways that you can use them. So the seeds definitely are the most popular way. The other way that we get use from the pomegranate is the juice. Now the juice is in the seeds. That's why it's, it is an expensive fruit. It is an expensive juice, but, um, but it's so nutritious for us. It's packed with vitamin C. It's packed with antioxidants and polyphenols, which is going to protect our immune system. It's going to protect our cells. So it really is nutritious if you can eat pomegranates, the juice or the seeds. And I'm going to share in the comments a recipe for a glaze. When you're talking about cooking and trying to incorporate the pomegranate juice, you can heat up the juice in a saucepan until it gets nice and thick and use that as a glaze on top of chicken, on top of pork dishes, even salmon. It would be a delicious, delicious glaze. Okay, so these are popping right off. I have a big chunk here. I'm going to show you how I skim it in a few minutes. What else did I want to tell you about pomegranates? There's a lot to know about this amazing little fruit. So where do they come from? Um, primarily the pomegranates are grown in California. They have a nice hot 
climate where they are grown. And I uh, had one online and kind of looked up a little bit of the fun facts about the palm. That's the palm brand where you'll see the pomegranate palm sticker on the, the pomegranates. The variety that this is, is the wonderful. So that is the type of pomegranate that we are eating, that we're used to eating, that we're used to seeing in the grocery stores and from the palm juice. Okay, there's hundreds of varieties of pomegranates, but the wonderful variety is the one that we're familiar with. And they actually have the most seeds uh, or arils grown on them. So the orchard is in California. So that is where they come from. But they've been around for many, many, many years. They were one of the first fruits. Um, and it's very popular in the Middle Eastern countries. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what happened to my seeds. They all sank to the bottom. So if you can see my bowl, the seeds are all on the bottom. And then I'm just going to take, if you have a, a small colander, I just have a spoon with the slits, and I'm going to just scoop out the flesh that rose to the top, and then we're gonna drain out the pomegranate seeds. I want to make sure we get everything. So it does, it's a little time consuming to pull apart the seeds, but definitely well worth it. It's kind of a tradition in our house on Thanksgiving. I'll have this in my house and when we're waiting for dinner, we're snacking on this in the morning, snacking on it throughout the day. So it is definitely fun. Your kiddos will love it because it is a unique fruit. It's not something that you're going to have all the time. Okay, so then I'm going to take my colander. I'm going to bring my bowl over to the sink and just drain it out. Okay, and there are the delicious pomegranates. You can see I've seeded them. They're firm and when you bite into it, you just get that burst of juice, that burst of tartness, that burst of sweetness. So enjoy a pomegranate, boost your immune system with all the nutrients that are in there, garnish your dishes, look for the glaze that I'm going to share. And if you have a fun recipe that you make with pomegranate seeds or pomegranate juice, come back and share that in the comments with us. Have a great weekend.